two more quick items. <laughs> 10C, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to approve a contract with Golden Bay Fence plus Iron Works, Inc. for construction and installation of vehicle and pedestrian security gates and a video intercom system at the Public Services Corporation yard in the amount of $105,186 with a construction contingency of $15,778 and for a total construction budget of $120,964. This project, um, as you mentioned, is related to the Corpyard facility, um, and it is part of our Corpyard facility improvement project <coughs> capital improvement program. This project, um, <coughs> while it includes originally in the CIP, it included a, a bigger effort at the Corpyard. This project in particular targets the security upgrades to the perimeter and the access in and out of the yard itself, and as uh, several members of council visited the site, I think in May, Public Works Week, and um, we kind of toured the facility and looked at them. This project includes four gates. There's two pedestrian gates and two vehicle access gates. One of the, the current um, access gate on San Felipe is the only one that's operated remotely. So we have remote controls in every vehicle that operate the gate, and the other is a manual gate. So this project um, would address many of the security concerns that we've had with our water facility and help um, secure that facility the way that it should be. Um, it would also provide access control for the pedestrian gates and also a way to monitor who comes and goes out of the yard. We have visitors to the yard, not only vendors, um, but deliveries, and but also citizens who come into the yard and others who we've had people wander into the yard as well, but citizens who just come into the yard and being a water facility and a, and a place where we've got some pretty expensive equipment and other sensitive um, pieces of equipment, um, that's what this project does. The One of the parts of the system for these four gates is the control part, and I call it the technology piece. There's two, a Part of this project is two video intercom access locations. One is a pedestrian gate and the other is a San Felipe gate, and that would um, allow people visitors to come in and, and buzz in and we would be able to see, our administrative staff would be able to see who's there and ask them what they're there for and that sort of thing and open the gate remotely. In addition, it has a technology piece that would phase out our remote controls and move to a system of RFID tags, which would be a little sticker that each vehicle would have in the window so that when you approach the gate within a certain distance, the the opener would read this signal and know that it's a city vehicle and let the city vehicle in. It's much easier to do and it would track the vehicles that come and go and also over time it's easier to add more vehicles rather than have a, a physical remote control. We can add um, vehicles like the police vehicles that need to come to the shop. Right now the gates just open all day long so people can drive in and out and, and it's hard to monitor. Um, this project was put out to bid um, and two qualified bidders were responded. Um, we've, the lowest bid was Golden Bay Fence at $105,186. They've done similar work for um, Stockton School District, Mountain View Sanitary, and they've also done some work for the City of San Bruno with our Cherry Avenue pump station. Um, tonight we're asking for uh, a construction amount of one 120,964, which would include a contingency of $15,778. We kind of anticipated a couple of questions, and I'll take the first one, and the city manager will take the second one. But the first one was, um, do we need to do such a full-blown effort on these four gates? And in particular, is there anything that we could scale back and perhaps save some money? Um, about $30,000 of this project it relates to the te what I would call the technology piece. It's probably a little bit more than that, but it's hard to define because the bidders bid on a lump sum basis. But the technology piece being the RFID tags, the remote access with the video access um, is about $30,000 near as we can determine. Um, if we don't have that, then it becomes much harder to secure the location and much, uh, it's impossible to track who would come and go. And 
while we could lock the gates, if someone came to visit, we wouldn't have a way to know that they're there. So um, that's a key part. And the other part of that technology is the investment up front for the readers. But if we ever uh, improve the site more, the facility, or change buildings and, and actually have card readers that gets in and out bu of buildings, this system will incorporate those things so it's not wasted. It wouldn't be um, something that we do once and then redo later as part of a bigger effort. So I hope that answers the one of the questions. And I think city manager. And then the next question had to do with the uh, budget page out of the capital improvement program that shows an estimated $40,000 cost for this portion of a um, multiple part project. Um, as the council may remember, uh, we recently sought and you provided authority to uh, engage a design consultant to assist with developing a needs assessment and master plan for eventual um, overall improvement and or replacement of the corporation yard facility, which has uh, serious limitations and is um, uh, desperately in need of, of some um, improvements to meet modern requirements. Um, that portion of the project is already underway, as I indicated. Um, this portion of the project was originally um, uh, not, uh, not, didn't include all of the component pieces that uh, the current contract envisions. And between the two, the uh, security improvements and the uh, needs assessment, facility master planning assessment, uh, we do believe that that work can be totally completed within the $247,000 estimated uh, cost of the overall project. Uh, my only caution would be that this is obviously not uh, an amount of money or a project description that would uh, fully uh, provide for what we anticipate to be a uh, much broader program of improvements that we will need to plan for down the road once the needs assessment and master planning work is completed. So the $247,000 should be uh, more than adequate to complete the work that was envisioned under this project concept. Good. Any so we're happy to take any questions. Yeah. Any questions for staff? Yeah. Just, just quickly, yeah, I, I, I can truly appreciate, I, I really paid attention to it today, looking at the, the four gates, I mean, even the pedestrian gate, mm -hmm. and obviously they're not, either they're not working or they're very unsightly too. And, and I know it's a, I, I know it's an ongoing process and um, I'm just hoping that we can you know, really improve on the look of that the look of that facility. Um, is barbed wire really necessary? Uh, we've, you know, it's surrounded by residents, and I know I'd be a little concerned if I had to look at that across the street all the time. Uh, but I, I, I can appreciate that, we're, that we are going to pursue some improvements. So yeah. I think not just, not just facility improvements, you know, practical improvements, but and I'm not looking at major landscaping or fancy fencing or whatever, but I mean, just a little more sensitive to, you know, to being in a residential area. Um, we share the concern, and I, w I would just say that um, this project does not envision uh, providing an adequate safety program or security program in order to allow us to eliminate the entire or, or change out the entire perimeter fencing and or the uh, barbed wire. But that certainly is, we share the concern and recognize that um, this facility is, is not an amenity in what is a kind of a mixed neighborhood of, of residential and um, uh, more uh, industrial uses with the train tracks and, and all across the street. It's certainly not an amenity and it, that is among the considerations that we're making in suggesting to you that a much more significant um, change needs to be considered down the road. That would help. <laughs> Anyone else? Would it be safe to assume that spending this money now, uh, knowing that in the future, hopefully the near future, we're going to be replacing this whole facility, that this won't be torn out and wasted? I, I think we have um, 
talked about that and the access points on San Felipe and Huntington, we don't envision changing. So uh, keeping that in mind and that Ray's been involved with the uh, master planning and the overall um, project as far as the courtyard facility. Um, we anticipate that they may have recommendations for the, the whole perimeter fence, but this one in particular is just the access points. The, the two pedestrian gates may change, but the, the, main, the main money and the main <coughs> technology will we'll stay as as far as we can determine at this point. All right, good. Rico? Did you, um, like we said, some of us were down there and uh, saw the need for some of the, the gate and more safety, uh, security, but also for a person who used to live on 200 block of Milton, so one of those residents that got to see the courtyard, I would also share as far as across the street, there's, uh, as you're walking uh, north, on Huntington, there's an area that is our stuff um, that I think it sometimes doesn't look as appealing as it should. And again, I, I firmly believe the city ought to lead by example. We can't ask of others what we won't do ourselves. So as far as the surrounding area and what we can do aesthetically and to bring it up, I think uh, we owe that to the residents that live there. Any action by the council? I'll introduce resolution. Councilmember O'Connell. Aye. Councilmember Salazar. Aye. Councilmember Ibera. Aye. Vice Mayor Medina. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. 